Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with coming at you with some uh, some trimming the tree here with uh, Dave Winfield, Tommy Lasorda who's out of the ICU, Darren Dalton. Darren Dalton over there too. And we also have figure team number 2 coming at you as well of uh, the brand new 2020 Bowman Draft baseball. All chrome card ship, no paper ships uh, except for these four players right there. No other exceptions, I'm afraid. Sorry, but those four will go paper-wise. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into the action. You can see the, the holiday spirit lining up in the back. That's a nice train. Eight box jumbo, pick your team two. Thanks everyone for getting in. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won those spots in a, uh, in a previous pack break where we are giving away the last uh, few teams. They do posters in draft? I kind of forget to actually. Bowman. I think Bowman. So again, this is this is my little cheat sheet right here. These are the four players where we're pulling paper. Side. Oh, side. Side. Which side? This side. Wow. I just couldn't find where the where the cut was. Oh! These aren't common, right? I was gonna make a joke saying, no, I don't wanna say it. It's inappropriate. I'll say it. <laughs> All right. So there's a box topper, ladies and gentlemen. It's tough to find hidden spots sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's see what's that. I can use one of the little train cars right there. Let's see what we got. Three autos per box in the jumbo. Coming up after this is Super Jumbo, and Super Jumbo has five autographs a box, I'm pretty sure. And that's coming up after this. So this break should take about an hour-ish or so, give or take, uh, including like label printing time and cleanup time and all that. But yeah, a little over an hour. And then we'll dive into the Super Jumbo and when, at the time when we started this break, I don't think there were any other orders actually so remember folks if you want to unlock that break credit promo tonight I think we got to do a lot more a lot more of these draft I breaks oh and some some future upcoming Bowman draft pick your team breaks are gonna be fillered after Nick helps me with uh, ripping open these packs to help this break go a little bit faster um, board, so we sell out, like, two oh there you go so maybe, we get the promo done. maybe a two team or a two case, a uh, two case filler, a filler that crosses over two cases. So if you're eyeing a team, I know there's about 40 of you watching right now. If you're eyeing a team, then I would get it before they're fillered up. Slide these over here. Should we make the Nick cam a little tiny bit bigger? You can see what's going on there. All right. So there you go. All right. So on the top cam, Nick Jaspi helping us out. Big thanks to him. And let's roll. Good luck, everybody. So now that I got, to, got to have a good feel for the, obviously these inserts will ship. Now that I got a feel for the, we did a case already. I got a feel for it. I think it can move a little bit more quickly than before. There's our first Zach Veen. We'll set, set that in that pile. Right All right. And our first autograph is Nick Swinney. 55 out of 71 for my rivals, the Giants. That goes to uh, G. Gia Chen. Honey, I was telling Teddy. That anybody who watches like MLB Network during, uh -huh. like during this time of year is like maybe a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> and then I came in and you were watching. It. Uh, unless I mean, it's like, unless it's like a I special, mean, like so the network shows. No, like, no, it's not even a special anymore. Like at first, I thought they were gonna talk like hot stove stuff. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Here's a paper Torkelson going to Derek Riley, who won the Tigers. Now, at first I thought they were doing a special. Then they just started recapping, like, big, big deals from previous free agencies. And so, like, I almost got fooled because they're, they're just like... And looks like the Yankees have uh, made a deal for Giancarlo Stanton. And I was like, what? They extended Stanton? Not the case. They were just talking about what happened, like, two years ago. So... Now I do feel like a psychopath. Oh, it's some sort of... Is this happening? The 2020 All-MLB team? Oh, we already know what that is. What's an All-MLB team? Uh, they're trying to do like NBA first team, All-NBA team, All-Pro team kind of thing. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's on tonight. Nothing much. College basketball. Bowman draft on Jaspies. Yeah. That's it. Creighton, Co Kansas. College basketball and, and Bowman draft. Soccer. Um, Juventus played Barcelona uh, yesterday. It's like a practice match. So USA's playing. Oh. USA versus Slovenia? Yeah, right? Is Melania there? But are these like the actual US? This is not the real US team, is it? I don't know. <laughs> like is Bobby Wood out there and Christian Pulisic? I don't think Christian Pulisic is out there because like Chelsea's playing Chelsea's matches. Playing, right? So this is not like a real international break. No, these are like D2. I think that's Bobby Wood right there. I think that's Shane. No, that's not Shane Long, but... Chris Long's brother. Chris Long's brother. No, this is definitely B team. Or a replay. And... We got Landon Knack. Just an international friend. Remember, uh, but Teddy? Do you remember the Knacks? El Salvador. Oh, El Salvador. We were both. That's <laughs> not Slovenia not at all. Close. It was El Salvador, folks. Not even close. We're a hemisphere off. Does Teddy remember what? The Knacks. Teddy, do you remember the Knacks? Didn't they do My Sharona? Oh, the Knack. Oh, Here's Landon Knack. One hit wonder, huh? I yeah, I think so. I'd be shocked if there they had another hit that I wouldn't recognize. The biggest one hit wonder ever. There's Daniel Cabrera, the biggest one hit wonder ever. It's like a cheerleader chant. Yeah. That it's they made into a song. Chant. Yeah. I think. Um, what about? Maybe the that Hey There Delilah song. Uh, I think they had other hits though, didn't they? No. Is that the Plain White Tees? Yeah. I yes. I think they are. No. Maybe that's maybe it. They had a few other hits. I feel like they had one more like decent. Hit. Not as big as that. There's though. a singer, there's an artist in the 2000s who had a huge hit. Oh, never. Name dropping humble, humble brag? That you the saw playing Delilah? Like no. The hey there, Delilah? Delilah? Because Alex name dropped this before, too. Oh, did he? <laughs> yeah, I think so. That he knows who Delilah yeah, is? Yeah. No, that's yeah. my friend. He name dropped that. That was my friend? <laughs> yeah. No, he said it was his friend. He knows. No, maybe it is his friend. I was like, I have a friend that knows, so it's your Delilah, brother. Yeah. So maybe it was, yeah. No, I thought it was... No, I'm pretty sure it's my friend. No, because that's the only reason why I remember it, because he name-dropped it so often. No, I'm pretty sure it was my friend Vincent Gragnani from Staten Island. We have uh, differing opinions. Wow. Well, we'll have to, I'll have to ask... I'll have to text my friend a little bit later. What's the song? As you walk by, by. Cut my life into pieces. Is that a one-hit wonder? Papa Roach? This is my last resort. What's the song that goes? I don't remember that one. There's paper Spencer Tor oh, Torkelson. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Yeah. Uh, that was uh, James... McAvoy. 
It was not James McAvoy, but there's Will Klein to 250. I think it was. It be, um, oh, there's Evan Carter. The Korean guy who did that Gangnam Style. I mean, he's huge um, in the Korea, biggest, though. According to Rolling Stone, is Aha take on me. Yeah, okay, you yeah. Teddy, did, Teddy disagrees, I guess. Evan Carter, Rangers. I mean, you have to have some sort of criteria, right? Like, the, the one hit that made the most money that they were never heard from again, I guess that would be the criteria. I guess AHA made a ton of money off of that. I haven't heard these other songs ever. De- Dexy's Midnight Runners, Come On Eileen. Oh, yeah. Come on, Eileen. Oh, I swear was it oh, was at the moment. Norman Greenbaum, Spirit in the Sky. I've heard that. Bum, 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 Spirit in the Sky. Yes. Yeah, That's a one-hit wonder? I thought that was... Spirit in the Sky. Yeah, that one. Okay. Yeah. I could have sworn that that was like... I don't no, know. It's number three on the Rolling Stone list. Wow. Um, big Country in a Big Country. I don't remember that one. They're number four. And then number five is Tainted Love. Soft, doom, so. doom, 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 That's doom. Song. That's been sampled a lot, I feel like, in more recent pop songs. Oh, Mike Towers got, according to the internet, top, top selling one hit wonder, <clears throat> wonders. Survivor, Eye of the Tiger, eight time platinum. Wow. Wait, who did Eye of the Tiger? Survivor? Survivor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know how to say that guy's name. But he's kind of still active, I would assume. Godier. Godier? Godier? Godier. That's funny. I I knew I remembered that Halo Delilah song for a reason. And I remember because my brother would always tell me, oh, yeah, I know Delilah. I don't know. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna text Vince right now. Alex just took your story and said Wow, is he going around town? Is he going around LA telling people he knows Delilah? I mean this was in when I still lived in New York. So this was twelve years ago. What is a Sharona? The person. The person's name? Yeah. So he's saying Sharona is his? Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, things were wild in the 80s. All right, box topper. And we'll do a recap at the end as well. It's, is it autograph? I don't know. We're going to find out. I think it's is for it a, a Super Fractor box it topper? A, super Fractor? That would be wild. It's Max Meyer. Wow. The signing of all Topps autograph cards. Woo! First round, third overall, Max Meyer. Three out of 35. And that goes to Brett S., who picked up the Marlins. Straight up. Three out of 35. That's pretty awesome. I'm actually going to leave it in this protective plastic here or wrap it here. Wait, did you ever tell me that you know Delilah in the Plain White Tea song? Yeah, she's a cousin of mine. My great grandfather and her grandfather were brothers. Alex took your story. Wow. Alex said he knew Delilah. That he, well, wow. It was either that or that he saw the plain white tees and like, at a park. I don't know. Just, I remember some story. This is the whole John Fogarty thing all over again. <laughs> that, we do know him, though. <laughs> that is, that, that I can confirm. He was acting like he was living at John Fogarty's estate for a couple of years. Well, we were there a lot, actually. Especially during the summers. We were there pretty frequently. I don't know if we were doing that. I think he was like, why are these kids here? <laughs> Running around my house. All right. Thanks, Nick, for opening up all those boxes, folks. Now that gives us a pretty good head start into the break. 
Now we can settle into the groove of the break. 116, you dated Delilah? I don't know about that. I feel like a lot of people would take claim to that. Oh, I think we're pulling Zach Veens too. Yeah. I feel like I read a, I don't know, we'll have to, we'll have to dig, through, dig, dig into this at some point, but I feel like there was like an article that interviewed her, you know, like a Rolling Stone article or something random like that. Ooh, nice class of 2020, Emerson Hannock, autographed 250 for the M's. That will be for Derek Kloss. That they interviewed her and they're like, hey, how'd your life? It's like, yeah, yeah. I, th I think basically the gist of the story was that like, Yes, I do get stopped, like at coffee shops and everything. They're like, it's like, hey, you know, cappuccino for, for Delilah, and they're like, are you the? And then the people are surprised, and she's like, yeah, I'm that one. There's Mason Wynn to one fifty blue paper. We gotta be, we have to be able to beat El Salvador, right? All right, who's this tiger here? That's Dylan, Dylan Dingler. Are there any sports cards one hit wonders out there? A set that only, that came out only one year? Or players that were one year wonders very, Oh, that's. I think that might be a easier question. A player. That's uh, Jeremiah Jackson to ninety nine green. A player that just everyone was all over for one year and then never again. Suppose that could be all of the hot like like quarterbacks for a certain year. Like I remember one of the biggest examples I think was uh, Blake Bortles. I want to say in football I think Blake Bortles I think was just so hobby hot for the entire I think I want to say season the boat yeah there's Levi Prater 25 for the Cardinals orange love the orange look that goes to Nick Casper in the Cardinals I think those Bortles like super fractors out of like Topps chrome football and stuff like that were just selling like hotcakes thousands of dollars And now he's a backup somewhere in Denver, maybe. Was Brian Taylor? What year was this? Late 80s. What was his name again? Brian Taylor. Anyone remember Brian Taylor? Teddy saying he was a number one overall pick for the Yankees. And then bro, imagine the imagine in this day and age with like Twitter and Instagram and all that, if the number one overall pick for the Yankees broke his hand in a bar fight and then was just never the same again. Sports Center would be talking about that. for 24 hours for two days that, that might be if it's a slow news week that could be that could take over the entire week 
There'd be there'd be cell phone video of it. Number one overall pick in a bar fight. And we've got got a couple things going on here. First, we've got Nick Lofton, 341 out of 499 for Tim and the Royals. And then we've got an atomic refractor of uh, Jaron Duran. It's a cool looking card too, out of 150 for the Red Sox. That'll be for Josh Pruce. David Sitko remembers that story, but he's David Sitko. Sitko is saying, but he apparently broke his hand trying to be a good guy and stop the fight. Is that right? I, I mean, according to Dave Sitko. Oh, early nineties. Oh, he, oh boy. So what happened? Like he just, he, it, that, that was his pitching hand or something. And then, and then it was just never the same again. Like, did he ever make it to camp? And there, he didn't even make it to camp. And it was just like a sad, wow. But the whole thing Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the 90s, throwing 101 is a huge deal. All right, so that, that was actually, each stack will represent a, a full box. So there's your three autographs right there. We'll do a recap at the end. Gotcha, yeah. Apparently, David saying his brother was getting into it with someone, then he, he was trying to stop the fight. And Wait, hold on. How did the, how did the U.S. go up 2 0 already? Did miss a goal? There's uh, glimpses of greatness, Max Meyer again, gold, and Casey Martin for the Phillies. Tony, did you just ask me what my favorite baseball team is? The San Francisco Giants. That's, that's Casey with the Phillies. The Max Meyer gold is out of 50. I don't know, Dave, but David Sitko does concede that he wasn't there, so who knows what actually happened. Maybe we should get some eyewitnesses and maybe do like some sort of a, so yeah, some sort of re reenactment. A, uh, maybe like some crime TV, like for like the Learning Channel TLC or something. What's a network that would do that? Isn't there a crime TV or something like that? Channels that air like snapped. And with just poor actor reenactment. The year was 1991. Number one draft pick, Brian Taylor. Salt and pepper was on the radio. Salt and pepper, yeah, exactly, yeah. The hot tunes of salt and pepper were in the air on this New York night when disaster was about to happen. Although Brian Taylor didn't know it then. And then, and then it goes to Brian Taylor grew up in New Jersey. Lived a life that many other young boys his age would live. Playing the game he loves. Baseball. Oh, is the U.S. up 3-0 now? now? And that's when things went wrong. 
And we got Jared Schuster, 39 out of 50. Gold Wave autograph for Ryan Harold and the Braves. Won the Braves in that uh, in that pack, in that team giveaway filler break. He's the 25th overall pick by the Braves. All right, so there's two autographs plus that paper Torkelson. So we're looking for one more, uh, one more autograph out of this box. There's Pardomo, purple paper to 250. I'm trying to catch all the all the necessary paper here. Although I feel like we haven't seen any paper Robert Hassels. There is Col Colt Keith and Nick Lodolo, Speckle for the Reds. Oh, am I mixing up my paper and chrome pile? Come on, Joe. You're, you, you stay here, paper. There you go, right? There's Robert Hassel right here. There's Isaiah Green, blue parallel, 53 out of 150. That'll be for Ryan Harold and his Mets, the Metropolitans. Oh, it's four goals for the U.S. now. Oh, we're only 24 minutes into this game. Might be a long night at the office for El Salvador. All right, so we got our three autographs. So there's the box there. Let's grab a couple more boxes. is half a box so on the table right now another two boxes and looks like we have one two three more boxes to go so we're cruising folks mm, yeah I think there were some Torkelsons earlier in, in the in that in those first edition sets The U.S. have scored five goals now.
Zach Bean is one of the papers that do ship. More on the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta we gotta hustle a little bit on on spots if we want to try to knock out that promo tonight. All the details are on jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's Kalai Rosario. I guess Oliver, I think, or someone was telling me that, that Eddie Rosario was let go by the twins, and they've just replaced him with a different Rosario. I don't think they're related. Torkelson Paper, O'Neill Cruz to 250. And all of these Torkelsons, of course, will go to Derek Riley. All of these will add up, Derek. Probably worth grading. Robert Hassel for the Padres. Mark Bissett. We'll get all of these. There's Perdomo. was half a box. Let's do the other half. I think, I think these two are together. And we've got a Jack Blomgren, 48 out of 75. Uh, black parallel for the Rocks. That's going to be for Tim Burke. Picked up the Rockies straight up. Hi there. Uh, TMGRN ZX9R. I'm going to go with Tim Green, Tim Green Zniner. What's going on? And we got gold paper. Seven out of 50. Zach Daniels. Ooh, nice. Okay, okay. David Sitko's got more for us. I, I like that. This is the kind of break, folks, where we, where we can really deep dive into these sports topics because these breaks are so long. We've got it. We we actually have a chance to kind of like chat. One last fun fact that has David Sitko saying on the Brian Taylor story: his bar fight injuries were actually a dislocated shoulder and a torn labrum, resulting from him throwing a punch and hitting nobody. Oh no! So he didn't even connect, and then that was it for his baseball career. There's Tristan Houses to 250 purple paper, Gases. Silver, uh, no, chrome that is, chrome Torkelson. Nice chrome Torkelson. Man, that, that, that does suck. You, you don't even connect. Defending your brother. I mean, I guess just his... His arm speed was just that powerful, I guess. I guess it was just it was just so powerful that that he <laughs> that he wow. There's Canario, Alexander Canario. Yeah, that sucks. I feel like there should be some sort of 
E60 special, uh, maybe not a 30, maybe a 30 for 30 short E60 special. But I, I guess I would imagine that you're not going to get cooperation from like Brian Taylor, right? If you're him, you're, you've probably have attempted to move on with your life. And maybe you don't want to relive that. Or maybe you do, as a cautionary tale for young kids out there. Hey, careful. <laughs> careful in bar fights. All right, we got some color here. We got purple, 19 out of 250. Logan Hoffman. Chad with the pie. Is this a Hoffman that we know or, or a different Hoffman? No, no word on. Is, maybe Trevor's not that old. To have a kid that's 18. 18, 19 years old. All right, so there's our three autographs right there. Nice, so there we should have another three produced out of these two stacks. Folks, I started watching, uh, you guys remember the show Arrested Development? I started re-watching that. I'm trying to build enough momentum to watch the two newer seasons on Netflix, which apparently are hit or miss. The first three seasons of Arrested Development, I think, are just, to me, a... A American satire comedy classic, I think. It still, I think it still holds up. I think there are definitely some jokes there that that I don't think would maybe writ, be written today, but still, still is funny. Ron Howard doing the uh, doing the narrating, the voiceover, is pretty great. A lot of jokes within jokes. Fourth wall breaking. It's pretty good stuff. There's Daxton Fulton. There's Jared Jones to 499. And all these Heston Kirkstads are all for uh, Mark Bissett Orioles. Next little bit. We haven't seen our autos yet. Should be coming up 
now? Oh, no autos yet. So are there three in that stack? There better be. Tops, there better be. We have some explaining to do. Hmm. Auto. No, no auto. Orange Matt Libertor. Oh, there's an auto up there. Seven out of twenty-five. Matthew Libertor. Orange for the Cardinals. Nicholas Casberg. He's supposed to be pretty good. And there's our this is Casey Schmidt. Double O five out of one fifty for the Giants. Jia Chen with the Giants. <laughs> Luis Gill to 50. That'll be for Nick and the Yankees. Oh, look at this. We've got a Drew Romo Baseball Factory All-American autograph. Is, did we see him as a Royal? To the checklist. A Rocky. A different R team. Uh, that's Tim Burke with the Rocks. A different R team, like anyone would want to R her. Rest of them. Chrome Torkelson. Clayton Beater, 250. For the Dodgers, we know we know what position Clayton Beater would play. If he played Quidditch instead of baseball. Chrome Torkelson, another one for Derek Riley and the Tigers. And there's our third auto right there. Looks like it's going to be for the Washington Nationals. 54 out of 71. Speckle, sparkle autograph. That's uh, Holden Powell for Robert G. and the Nats. Another paper Torkelson. Oh, there's Drew Romo right there. All right, our last bit of paper, and then we'll do a couple more boxes. Again, we'll do a recap at the end. All right, so if you're watching live, folks, the uh, filler for Pick Your Team 4 and 5 are up.
And if we once we fill that, that'll unlock both of those brakes. That's a good price too. Twenty four ninety nine. Go and get it, ladies and gentlemen. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. And we'll add that to the schedule as well. What's that? No, maybe not for me. Jason Bateman? Who's in Arrested Development? And we've got a refractor autograph, 496 out of 499, Matthew Dyer. And that is for Ryan Harold. What are you looking for? Uh, nothing. Also, folks, public service announcement. If you're ever reaching out to us on support by hitting that button on jazbeescasebreaks.com for, for whatever support issues you may have, or if you want to reach out to us for whatever reason, um, be, don't forget to put your uh, order number. Give us as much details as possible. I guess we've been having some people just saying, hey, Something happened, and we're like, okay, Nick and Solace to 250 purple. But we need, like, we're not mind readers. you got to help us out. The more information you get us, give us, the faster we can get back to you. Kyle Nicholas for the Miami Marlins. Brett with the fish. Got that box hopper autograph, too, which was pretty cool. So yeah, when you reach out to us, try to give us as much information as possible. Order numbers, the breaks you were in, the break in question, the team that you might have had, if there's multiples in that order. And then we can do our best to kind of, just so that saves us a little bit of back and forth, we can just start investigating something from the get-go. So that'd be a big help, folks. Thank you. We got a green autograph for the Rangers. 55 out of 99, Justin Foscu for Texas, Mark Bissett and the Rangers. There's Bobby Miller for the Dodgers to 99. Green paper. Is that, is that Foscue, Foscuey? Is that focus hit a good hit? That's what that's what Orioles is saying. And then we got Nick Swinney to 150. There's a paper Torkelson. And all that's for Derek Riley, who won the Tigers in that filler pack. Oh, that Rangers prospect. Oh, it was 14th overall. Nice.
There's Hans Kraus to 25, orange paper. That's also for the Rangers. Glimpses of Greatness, 62 out of 99 for Detroit, Spencer Torkelson. Hopefully. We've got Jeff Criswell for the Oakland A's. That'll be for Jorge. Another Heston for the Orioles. There's Trevor Larna to 250, purple paper. Is that right, Bob Eubanks? There's Tink Hence. All right, another box right over there. Is this 60 up? Is that only for people? Is that Bob Eubanks shooting hoops? But can I use it if I'm not 60 and up to improve my balance and core? So many questions. And what if I just get a head start on that? Who who will the who will the old spokesperson be for this current this generation? You think like seventy year old Justin Bieber will be doing like these kind of commercials? Like hi, I'm I'm singer songwriter Justin Bieber, and when I can't go, I use Fiberall. Right? There's got to be, there, there, there'll have to be a spokesperson there. There's Connor Phillips to 250. You know, will like 75 year old Justin Timberlake be out there pitching product to us? Hi, I'm entertainer Justin Timberlake. There's a one in four chance if you're over 60 like me, Justin Timberlake, you know, you'll experience a fall. But I want to keep dancing. So that's why I use Balance All. As Connor Phillips goes to the Mariners, Derek Kloss with that. This is Burl Caraway to 499. Kyle saying Cody Bellinger. Hi, I'm former baseball player Cody Bellinger. And when I need to get more protein in my diet, I use bacon all. The one stop way to get enough protein in your diet. There's Justin Focus again. It's Corbin Carroll for the Diamondback. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Hi, I'm three-time World Series champion Cody Bellinger. You know, I, I used to dislocate my shoulder all the time when I was younger. But now, I'm 70 and I have grandkids. <laughs> I can't run around like I used to. 
until <laughs> you have to be like until like copper fit gold fit by the makers of copper fit platinum fit titanium fit has got me back running around and doing uh doing those arm hook high fives again there's Liam Norris to 150 Put that right there and uh, Werner Blakely for the Angels 411 no 441 out of 499 refractor autograph for William Meyer and the Halos There you go for the Halos. Whoa. I need a, I need a tack visor. I got a paper Torkelson. Mm, not a fan of that corner on the bottom left on this paper Torkelson, but the paper's a lot more fragile. There you go, Derek. Nick York. And another Max Meyer autograph for the fish, Brett, with the Marlins. And there's Francisco Alvarez, purple paper to 250 for Ryan H. All these Robert Hassels will go to Mark Bissett and the Padres. And that's that. We've got one more box to go, folks. Almost there. Almost there. Stay on target. a Hessian Kierkstad already on the very bottom. We'll do a recap in just a few moments. And final box, fingers crossed. Good luck, everybody. And we've got uh, Addison Coffee, 35 out of 150 Blue Wave autograph for EA and the White Sox.
There's Jeter Downs, 250. Cousins with Allison T. I don't understand that. Chrome Torkelson. Oh, oh, word, word, word. I see. That goes to Derek Riley. Addison Coffey. Cousins with Allison T. I get it now. I, I read it. Here's how I read it, so you can see where my thought process is at. I, A, I thought you were talking about Kirk Cousins. And I thought Allison T was just a uh, some some like socialite or celebrity that I don't that I didn't know. And I was just like, yeah, well, good for good for Kirk. Six out of fifty gold wave autograph for the Royals. That'll be for Tim Burke at Kansas City. Uh, is that I did not know. I don't. I don't know much about Kirk Cousins' personal life. There's Michael Bush, twenty-five for the Dodgers. That'll be for Andrew Hennessy. Kirk is married. Ryan Harold saying, and is a man of God. No affairs, huh? Sounds like. A I was like Derek Carr. You like that? You like that monogamy? All right, last half box, almost there. Stay on target. And we've got another White Sox refractor autograph, Garrett. Are we going are we going Crockett? Crochet? C R O C H E T. Garrett Crockett, Garrett Crochet, could even be, I can even go with Garrett Crochet, Garrett Crochet to 499, refractor autograph for EA and the White Sox, what do you think EA? 11th overall pick, so yeah, we should probably know it, Vault, Vault Sports Cards is saying Crochet, so we're going to go Crochet. Just like we're, we're knitting. And we got Evan Carter to 499. Crochet says Google. Thanks for looking, Ryan. He already made his MLB debut, Crochet? How did it go? Out. Yeah. <laughs> that evens out, Teddy. My first instinct was crochet. 
So Crochet was out of the bullpen. He throws 100, 100 plus? Tell him not to get into a fight. There's Daniel Lynch, 250, purple paper. One, two, yeah, th those are three autographs right there. So I guess we're just looking for maybe another parallel before we close things out or maybe some of the bigger rookie names like Spencer Torkelson. No Spencer ink for you, Derek Riley, but I feel like a lot of chromes and a lot of papers, a lot that could be graded out and hopefully and hang on to hopefully he becomes a star and and then uh cha ching profit all right and there you go ladies and gentlemen that was a nice break that was a good drum break that's eight box jumbo pick your team two 2020 bowman draft baseball here is a quick recap from the last box all the way up to the first box. There are your Torkelsons. That's Drew Romo. He is a Colorado Rocky. Got some black, but a lot of good a lot of good color here too. A lot of good color in the parallels, which I like. Some Dodgers. And there you go. And then plenty of, uh, of other numbered cards and other parallels that we'll be top loading and all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.